This is the, the standing lat stretch. So how you're gonna set up for this, the first thing is you're gonna find a squat rack, a door, something you can hook your hands or your fingers fully around. In this situation, Dominic is gonna be doing his left hand. How we're gonna set up, you're gonna be roughly an arm length away from whatever you're grabbing. I want the thumb turned down and he's gonna wrap his fingers around the inside of my squat rack here. From here, I want his feet parallel to start. So bring him in about hip width, Dominic. Narrow, narrow, narrow. Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Here's a start point. Whatever arm is being stretched. So again, his left arm in this situation, he's going to take a small stagger step back with that same side foot, just so his toes are in line with his heels, but he's still heavy on his right foot. From here, I just want him to round his back, tuck his hips under a little bit, and gently, subtly turn his chest towards the stretch a little bit, just until we start to feel a slight little stretch right here. This is all we need. We don't need to crank in the, into this position. Once he finds this stretch, we're just going to hang out for breath. So I want a silent breath in through the nose, five, six seconds on the inhale. He's going to exhale through an open mouth like he's fogging up glass until he starts to feel his side abs in this setup. He'll feel more right side abs. Keep that little bit of ab tension on your inhale. You'll feel a lot more stretch as you inhale here. On each breath out, you're gonna to try to find a little bit more side ab tension on the right side. On each inhale, you're gonna to start to feel that stretch on the side that is being stretched. Hold here for five or six breaths. Common mistakes we see with this one are trying to turn that chest too hard and really crank into the stretch. We don't need that. All we need is a subtle turn to put this on a mild stretch and then we're hanging out for five or six breaths. Again, as you exhale, with each rep, you should find a little more side ab tension on the side that is not being stretched and a little more stretch on the inhale. This is the standing lat stretch.